Hey y'all, in this tutorial I want to show you how to offset anchor links and anchors where they go to. So let's just say I have this created this burger joint and when you click menu it scrolls me down to the menu down here. But you can see my text menu where the anchor link goes down to, it is off it is hidden by my header up here. So I want it to be offset to be maybe around there. So let's figure out how to do that. Well, let's quickly first look at how we set this up. So I'm just gonna jump into my code here. I've added a code block right there with an ID of menu, all within this, this div element right here. So you can just copy that. And this value menu can be whatever you want, but remember what it is. Now to link to this anchor, you have to add this right here hashtag menu, whatever you had, whatever you created as that ID into your link. So I put it in my main nav area, but this can be any link on your website. And I've also first noted that first it's the burgers page, which is this whole page right there, and then the menu section of this page. So this is where we're moving down to. So that's how this is set up. And you can see really this is going down to this element, this div is its own element. And we can see the outline of this element by saying style, let's say border uh, one, let's say two pixels, solid red, two pixels, not two P. Um, and then you can see this is, it's just a thin border. So that's why it's just a line, but this is where it's scrolling down to. And so as I click save, as we refresh it over here, we can see it a little more clearly. So when I click this menu, it scrolls down to that red line. That red line's kind of like right up here. And that is the top of the page. So that's what these anchor links do. They bring you down to the top of whatever element it is. Then for us, it's that div with an ID of menu. So what we want to do is move this element up to maybe about here. So we can do that in our code. So let's go back to edit, open up this code block. Within our style right here, I'm just going to do a semicolon so I can add, we still need that end quote semicolon so I can add another uh, CSS property here I'm gonna give it a position of relative and this now allows us to change the top value so I'm gonna to say top negative 150 pixels so now you see our element has moved up negative 150 pixels so if I just hit save now if we refresh it over here when you hit menu see now we've moved up to wherever this red line is right up there. So now we have given it a little bit of an offset. So you just hit this and boom, we're done. So that's how you do it. Uh, you obviously don't need that border value right in here. That's a little, don't really need that guy. So you can delete that. And also to give it that sort of smooth scrolling effect. Uh, if you don't already have this on your website, I would highly recommend adding it. Go to your design custom CSS area and put in HTML and then scroll behavior colon smooth. That's how you do it. So I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions.